Hi, my name is Sheila Huggins. I'm one of your five representatives from North Carolina to the Democratic National Committee. I hope everyone is healthy and safe during the challenging times that we are facing now. I did want to touch base with you just for a couple of minutes about the National Convention. Last week, we received an email from Jason Ray, who is our DNC secretary, and he let us know that we were going to be receiving a resolution and a ballot in the mail. We also received a copy attached to our email. The Democratic National Committee actually has a convention committee that makes all of the decisions about what the National Convention looks like, what the format is, the structure, all of the logistics go through them. As you know, we recently pushed back our convention from July to August. And now the plan is to make sure that we give our convention committee all of the authority that it needs in order to be able to make sure that we have a safe national convention, whatever that looks like. And so I want to take a moment here to sort of touch on a couple of things in this resolution so that you can understand why they're making the decisions that they're making and what we will actually be voting on. I'm not going to go through all of these whereas statements. You guys are familiar with those, but I did want to touch on a couple of these. One of the ones down here at the bottom actually says, whereas many states, including Wisconsin and Illinois, have responded to the COVID-19 pandemic by instituting stay-at-home orders, which may, until they expire or are lifted, prevent convention delegates, personnel, invitees and contractors from legally traveling to and physically congregating for the convention. So let me just speak to that for a second. As you know, our convention is scheduled to take place in Wisconsin. However, the North Carolina delegation is one of the delegations that is slated to be in a hotel in Illinois. And so the convention committee is not just looking at what's being impacted in Wisconsin and what the rules are there, but they're also having to look at Illinois. And I just wanted to make sure that I pointed that out to you. So as they're taking all of these things into account, I wanna read um, the actual resolution language and what it says. It says, under the call, the DNCC, which is the convention committee, has the authority to plan arrange, manage, and conduct the convention, including the authority to set and alter the date, timing, format, voting mechanisms, structure, and other logistical aspects of the convention outlined in the call. This authority includes, for example, changing the date from the week of July 13, 2020 to the week of August 17, 2020, and all other actions that must be taken in order to ensure the safety of convention participants and the general public and compliance with any applicable laws, including but not limited to those concerning public health and ballot access. And so what we are essentially doing here is we are making sure that we are giving our convention committee all of the authority that it needs in order to make sure that our national convention goes forward in a manner that at least limits the health risk of being exposed to COVID-19. So we want to make sure that we have that authority, that they're able to make whatever decisions they need to make, and they don't have to keep running back to the regular DNC members for that approval. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know in the comments. You can email me, call me, text me, whatever works for you. That is currently where things stand. We actually have a ballot that I have to mail in, or um, I think it's take a picture of and send it back in. But basically the question is, do you vote to adopt the DNC Rules and Bylaws Committee Resolution adopted on May 12th, 2020? And it's yes, no, or abstain. And so there you go. And this has to be turned back in by May 29th. So this is in order to give our convention committee, again, all the authority that it needs. If you have any questions, like I said, just reach out to me. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and God bless.